What is up, Rocket Nation, and welcome back for episode number 49 of Elden Ring. In episode number 48, we continued to explore along the west side of Lyurnia of the Lakes, attempting to locate the way to get to the top of the plateau on the southwestern side. We did not find it, but we did decide to go and visit our giant blacksmith friend. Is it Inge? I believe is how his name is pronounced. Inge? Inge? Inge. Uh, upon going and visiting him, we ended up finding a secret room underneath the ruins right by him, fought a secret boss. That was kind of awesome. Then we switched sides. We jumped over to the west side of Lyurnia of the Lakes and began exploring the northwestern corner, which uh, is where we're going to pick up today. As always, if you guys are enjoying enjoying these uh, these episodes, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Share it on your favorite social medias. Let everybody know how amazing you are uh, and how much you're enjoying these episodes and then if you guys want to be notified uh when the next episode goes live all you guys got to do is simply click that little sub button and then uh the little bell notification icon and boom you guys are getting notified so this is the the area the last thing that we cleared it is called black knife catacombs there was a secret boss in here which was super freaking awesome we found uh i think i think from here we're just going to be working our way south I don't think there's anything else up here for us to discover unless maybe in this region here, but I think this is essentially a chasm. I think this is just a giant chasm of death. Um, I don't think there's anything actually in this spot. So you know what? While we're, while we're here, let's get sneaky. We're going to get real, real sneaky. I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to stab this guy in his butthole. Got him right in the butthole. And then when big dumb wakes up here, we're going to goad him into an attack. Okay, I don't think... I don't think you can... You know what? Forget him. He's a... He's a... He's a big butthole. He's a big butthole. I think we can get up to... I don't know how... How do we get up to the top here? Can we use these to get up to the top? See, he was doing a buildup of something on us too. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that buildup is, but can we see on like a, on the status? No, it doesn't show like current um, debuffs or anything like that. Oh, it feels bad. So, huh? I don't. St I don't think we can get up this way. So let's go around and see if we can't get back up top. Um, let's go by the tower that we discovered up here, which is called the Converted Fringe Tower, and see if we can go north from there and uh, maybe find something else out that way. Absolutely beautiful view right there. Like, look at that. What is... What the heck is that up there, by the way? Is that the manor? I think that might be the manor. Is that the manor? I can't tell. Um, we do, at some point today, this is what I really want to do, is go down here and explore this whole section to our lower left-hand side right here. I really want to go and explore all of that leading all the way down to the tower. Now, uh, there is a section of that which we already have actually explored. Um, no. Nope. I already killed that thing. Um, I'm not scared of it. I'm not saying I'm scared of it. I just don't want to. All right? Get off my back. <laughs> I just don't want to. I think this is the, the way we're going. Um, oh, there's... Trina's Lily. I got Trina's Lily. These things are so freaking cool. This, this is by far my favorite thing in the game right now is these. I think they're just mind-bogglingly awesome. They're just so awesome. This one doesn't have the stuff on the legs like the other one does, though. I wonder... Maybe each one of them, actually, you get you take them down differently or something. Because I don't see the other one that we had fought had little deals on its feet. And when we destroyed the deals, it uh, actually just fell down. So, Wow, look at me. I'm a giant building jumping up and down. All right, let's go up here. There's another one up here. There's so many walking mausoleums around here. Like an insane amount of them. I want to say there is four in Lyurnia of the Lakes. All right, so let's actually... You know what? We don't need to... We don't really need to sit down at all. 
You know what? Let's sit down there in case something does happen. We don't got to make the trek back all the way from up, uh, from down at the bottom. All right. Come, Torrent. Let's go, boy. So, my calculations are correct. Yes, this is where the Erd tree is. Can we just jump to him from here? I bet you you can just jump to him. I bet you that's how you get in that one. If that thing doesn't have the stuff on the bottom, it's looking like that's almost a ramp to go and jump to him. I bet you that's it. Um. Okay, so up here there was... What was this area? I believe this was um, the Cursed City or something along them lines. Got him. I believe it was called the Cursed City, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think there was a way up to the left from here. Yeah, we fought the Erdtree Avatar here, but I don't think there was a way up to the left. So we may end up having to go back to get up. Let's see right here at the corner. If this just drops off. I'm assuming we can't. Oh, no, there's... It doesn't look too high. Um, Let's do it. Let's jump down. What's the worst that can happen, right? 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 <laughs> Took a little damage, but that's okay. We're all right. We lived. So where are we now? Oh no, we're right back down by the bear again. <laughs> no! All our progress undone. Um, <laughs> idiot. Well, good thing it ain't far. So I think we're going to end up having to go further up to the right anyways. Is there a way to tra fast travel up? No, we don't really have. I guess this would be the closest one. But there is that horrible, horrible tower with the Eye of Sauron on it. There's something right there. That looks new. We may have to go up there. You know what? Let's go to this, and we'll just travel north from there. I feel like the mausoleum compound one is going to be the easier one. So let's just travel north from here. And, uh... Does this one have the stuff on its feet? You know what? I think this one's going to be close enough to the cliff, too, where you can probably jump to it. Yeah, this does not have the stuff on the feet. Oh, yeah, it does right there. It does. The barnacles. It's got barnacles on its tootsies. Hmm. Well, huh? You know what? I think our painting was taken. The last painting that we had saw at, I believe it was called the artist shack, uh, was taken pretty close to here. You know what? Let's go down this way. Oh no, I'm dead. Well, that just happened. I don't know if there's a safe way down from here. <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to jump down there just to get our, uh, our stuff now. Nothing like a gravitorial death to really, you know, to really get things going. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to make that jump now no matter what. And you know that the sad part is there is a uh, there's a there's a bonfire or a site of grace down below there that we could have just traveled to. <laughs> I think we're just gonna we're gonna get down there. We're gonna get our souls, or our our souls again. I've said it a billion times. Oh, it's right there. And then we'll just fast travel down there. I think. I don't know the point of heading down this way. Well, we definitely can't make that jump normally. Oh, 
this might be easier than doing it on old torrent, right? Yeah, see, like, this jump, we might lose a little bit of health, but we can... No, we didn't even... Easy. Yeah, we're golden. Yeah, I do believe there is a Site of Grace. Oh, yeah! There, Bach has moved over here, didn't he? Did we go and see Bach after he moved? I believe we did, right? And we tried to give him the gold, uh, the golden needle, but we couldn't. It wouldn't let us, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken. Bach the seamster, at your service, master. At your service, master. Ready to master. make adjustments to your garments. Your garments. Nothing to alter. I, You know, it's kind of a disappointment that there isn't more altering that you can do. Oh. Go in, uh, please. All right. So nothing from him. Um. Okay. So I guess the only re the fastest way to get up here is going to be to fast travel here, I think, and then work our way north. Man, they've made this very hard to get up here. Hopefully, the Eye of Sauron is not still active, and only all, all you have to do is destroy it once. That's the hope here. Um. Hopes have been crushed before and will be crushed again. Uh. I just. Hope that this isn't one of those cases. So that tower up there is the one that had the Eye of Sauron on it that would suck the life out of you. It was absolutely horrible. I believe it called, caused madness to occur. Yeah, forget that. I don't see it turning on right now. So let's just... We're going to blaze up the hill and hope. Okay, it, it looks like that it's permanent. So once you destroy it, you don't have to worry about doing it again. All right, now to the right of us is, isn't it the, the cursed town? Is that what it is? Frenzied Flame Village. Wow, that was, I couldn't have been more off. Is that, what is that? Okay, so that's the converted fringe tower. Is there anything down here? I don't think we did come down this way. A great view over the minor Erd tree. Oh, there... What is this? I had a feeling. Wow. Good lord. I'm really not liking this right now. Look at them all. You're the only one left, buddy. What are you going to do now? That was far too many of them. This better be special. Frenzied Flamestone. We just got our first one of those. And what is this? Eye of Yulol. Yulol? Yulol? Yulols? Eye of Yulol. It is, uh, we apparently have gotten this before. I don't remember ever seeing it. Eye of Yulol? We got 12 of them. Grown in the land affected by... Oh, yeah, we did get those before. Oh, yeah, we did. Frenzied enemies uh, actually dropped them. Or the bushes in the, in, the, in the town, the frenzied town. They had those. I don't see much else up here, though. And then this must be the area... Is this the area that led to the catacombs then? Yeah, okay. The Black Knife Catacombs was there. Okay. So that is something we should have done the first time that we were actually through there. We should have just jumped down there. Um, I think I was in such a hurry and so excited about the new areas that we were hitting that 
I was just sort of pushing through um, far too many things. Did I miss a lost grace here as well? Hello? Really? <laughs> there was a lost grace here. We have another level up too. You know what? Let's get this level up and this is going to go into dexterity. Um, I had said this in the last episode. I think we are going to send dexterity all the way up to 40 before we uh, start switching off and doing anything else. So up to 25 grand now per level up. Um, if we alter our own garments, no. I thought maybe because we have that golden needle now and the golden tailoring stuff that we might be able to do alter alterations to different garments. Not the case. Um, all right, so let's cruise right through the town here. We've already been in the town. I feel like we've already gotten everything here. These guys caused that madness buildup. Um, we did not go this way. We did not, in fact, go this way, I don't think. Just launching spells and stuff at me. Did we? Yeah, I don't think we came up here. There's a whole tower up here. What this be? I also hear the glow of some things. Wow, look at the way that tree is tweaking out. <laughs> I think I hear a scarab. The shadows are tweaking out on the trees. So is there nothing here at this tower? Maybe we have to use Torrent to do a double jump and then the door into the tower is over here. Well, I could not be more wrong. Um, <laughs> it's all right. We're right back over here. Oh, there's the scarab up top right there. Yeah, so this area we never did come to. I'm pretty sure we only went into the town and went to the right where all those guys were standing and never went any further. So um, that's going to be on me. <laughs> like I said, when we got into this area, I was so geeked that we had like this whole new surrounding and all these new things were being thrown at us. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just, I got caught up in the moment. Yellow ember. Ember. Oh, what is this? Is this a voiceover time? <gasps> Vo Dude, are you limboing? Is it do the limbo? Let's talk to him. Oh, Lord Vike. It seems that you were no lord after all. And there, where is he? The true lord, the lord of frenzied flame. We beg of you, incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. Oh, may chaos take the world. Uh, rate my voice acting down below in the comments. Thank you. Uh, we had, oh, oh, a couple of, uh, large frame dips right there. That was alarming. Uh, we're totally going to kill this. Wait, where are you going? No, don't do that. Got him. Must have just been drinks or something, and we're already full, so that did nothing for us. Well, poop. I think I hear another one. I do hear another one. It's right there. Oh, there's a rat behind me. That's one of those frenzy rats, too. Got it. Frenzied burst. Well, there's a lot going on here. Hey, is that going to hit him? It totally didn't. Wow. Death becomes you. Okay. Okay. A little bit of a stun lock there. We're not going to make a big deal about it. They're all dead anyways. Um, I hate those things. All right. Let's come to this tower. See if there's anything over there.
looks like there might be something over there too. Oh, there is something on top of this one. Oh, whoa, whoa. I wonder what's up with the frame dips all of a sudden. Maybe it has something to do with the, uh, with the fog or something right now. Oh, a stone, a stone sword key. Nice. Noise. Noise. It's noise. Can we jump over to that one? I wonder if we can. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we did go around this way. There should be some mice or something on that side of this one. Can we make the long? We absolutely can make the long jump to this one. I don't think we can do that again. Oh, it was very close. That was actually very close. All right, let's just cruise up the hill now. Ooh. Yeah, I think those frame dips had something to do with the fog right there. Because now everything seems to have smoothed out here. Uh, oh, look at there's something up there. That looks like a church. Is it a church? I don't know. Shall we go find out? Yellow ember. Oh, we just got booted off. Are we about to get invaded? I think we might about to be getting invaded. Last time that happened, we were invaded by um, revenge. Yep, here it is. Festering fingerprint Vike. Bruh, want to do this? You sure? He's got a spear too. My fellow spear brother. Okay. I'm going to drink right away. Okay. Pretty sure I can't. What is he doing? I think he's doing frenzy stuff. Whoa. That almost instantaneous. And I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm not dead yet, but oh my God, drink. Dude, this guy sucks. Dude, is this guy is like Superman with his little ideal. I'm gonna get frenzied again. Dude, go away. What the heck? Oh my God, this guy sucks. That essentially stun locks us. That is insane. This is absolutely insane. This guy is the worst. Dude, what the heck? I'm just getting frenzied over and over. I can't even get away from him. Dude, this sucks. This absolutely sucks. This is the worst. I've never seen anything like this. This is Garbo. Get me out of here. I don't even want to fight this guy. He's literally stun locking me. Um. Sit down. No. Uh, no. I'm dead. Can we use the stuff around us here? Oh, yeah. I'm, he's he's going to get me for sure. This guy sucks. Get madness again. This guy is the this guy is the epitome of garbage. I there's nothing I can't so, what is his weapon? This weapon is absolute dog crap. And I'm dead. That sucked. This guy is garbage. Will he, will he fight us again? I want to fight him again. This guy is literally enraging. And it totally didn't let us. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Did we not bring up the fire there? I want to fight him again. We aren't far away. We can just go back up the hill. This guy was garbage. I hate it. Dude, whatever. He just kept stun lock, essentially. It was madness. You get lose all of your health. Then you're basically, after you lose all of your health, here's the double whammy with that maneuver too. 
you lose all of your health and then on top of it you're just stun locked you're stuck in place for like another five seconds and he could just hit you again after i think we had just enough health for essentially him not to kill us outright i he better still be here he had better still be here if they do not okay yeah let's go let's freaking go there will be no messing around now where is he get him in here Now drink. Whatever that is sucks. Oh, we should not have taken the hit there. He should have got hit. What's wrong, buddy? Are you out? No. Are you kidding me? Drink. What? We had on the wrong drink. That is insane. I'm dead. Drink. This guy's a cheater. That's all I have. Get him out of here. This guy sucked. Forget this pile of garbage. Fingerprint grape we got from him. Festering fingerprint Vike has dr I wonder if we can give that to what's her name? Um, I'm thinking Shiburi grape. What is her name? Hayeta. Hayeta. We got a fingerprint grape. What is that? That is a key item. So it looks like you do give it to somebody anyways. Usually the key items you do. Eyeball of the Night Vike, inflamed yellow. Eyeball of the Night Vike, inflamed yellow, seared with repulsive fingerprint, burned akin to those that marred his entire body. Uh, it offered to the, if offered to the blind maiden, it will lead her to the source of the distant light, allowing her to become a finger maiden. It is for Hayeta. It totally is for her. Vikes war spear. <gasps> Dude, did we just get our new weapon? Did we just get our new weapon? Vikes war spear, right there it is. We need 18 faith in order to wield it. 65 madness buildup is what it causes. Oh, imagine that on our offhand. Ooh, and it does fire damage as well. Um, it looks like we're gonna have to start pouring some stuff into faith. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's a good thing we won that fight, by the way, because if we hadn't, we would have lost all of our uh, all of our runes. Our runes would have been gone forever. Okay, there was a bunch of stuff up here, too. Um, there's our runes. We'll grab those. So we... I don't think we actually did light this. No, we did not. Oh, we got a sacred tear is what we got. Oh, well, we should definitely sit down and do the sacred tear thing. Um, what is that? Flasks. Increase amount replenished by flask. Yes. Noise. Is that it? Yeah, we don't have any more of those. Can we add another charge? Not enough seeds. It's okay. Um, who's the dead lady? <laughs> Finger maiden fillet. Fillet? Flat, the finger. Okay, finger made in robe, finger made in shoes. It's an entire outfit of a finger maiden. Um, it's garbage. It's pretty much garbage. Uh, flat worn by maidens who serve the two fingers. The ma see, there's two fingers and three fingers. What is the difference? Um, the maiden, the maidens live to serve chosen tarnish, sharing their guidance and the wisdom of the two fingers. The guidance of grace would ensure that the pair be brought together, or at least such was the promise long ago. Um, robe worn by the maidens who serve the two fingers. The maidens live to serve. It's essentially the same thing. The guidance of grace would ensure the pair 
would be brought together, or at least such was a promise long ago. And I'm guessing the boots are the same right here. Shoes worn by the maidens who serve the two fingers, and the rest is the same. All right. Um, so is this one dead? I think it's a dead finger maiden. She's fresh. She's still warm. Um, let's sit down. Yeah, that place is horrible. We need to find Hyetta now. Where the heck would Hyetta be? Because uh, we need to see my girl now. Because we have not a Shabriri grape, but we have Vike's eyeball. And we can give that to her. And uh, hopefully she would love it. And it would be amazing for her. I just hear something. Oh, wow. Look at back there. See, like, right there above my head? That looks cool. Um, okay, so... Where is we on them? Okay, so that was what we actually looked at on the map. So that's the Church of Inhibition is the name of that one. Um... Frenzied Flame Tower... I don't really see much else. Bach the Seamster. I'm trying to think, is there anything that we're missing here? Ruin Labyrinth, Mausoleum Compound, Church of Vows. We could go and buy those spells from him and then take, you know what? Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll go to the Church of Vows and we'll make our way down and then come this way. That's the artist shack. Hey, we look out. I'm trying to like, is there anything that we might have missed up here? I essentially, I don't really see anything. Nomadic merchant, Bullum Church, Bullum. Maybe we'll go. You know what? Let's go see what this nomadic merchant has. I can't remember. So let's uh, head down there and see him, and then we'll go to the uh, the the Pope boy and. Look who it is. Look who it is. Um, hello. Oh, hello. Is that you over there? Have you ever heard of fingerprint grapes? They're special grapes which really? grow on those who've been clasped by the burnt fingers. I would truly love to try one. The distant light seems far closer than before. But I can't sense a thing from the usual grapes anymore. Please, could you donate a fingerprint grape to me? Without one, I don't know. I feel like I might go mad. The last time she was literally throwing up in her mouth. Um, give a fingerprint grape, I guess. Oh. oh. A fingerprint grape. Tried and true. What a wondrous thing. A fingerprint grape. Wow. <laughs> oh. How sweet. Yet. How it burns. Thank you. Wow. I've composed myself again. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. So that's supposed to let her become a finger maiden? Will you be my finger maiden? Thank you. Mine's lazy. In the bottom of my heart. I'm sure I'll be a finger maiden. Well, that's what the description on the item said. Thank you. I'm sure I'll be a... All right, let's sit down and see if uh, she leaves. Yeah, I think so. Every time it fades to black, yeah, it's like reset in the world. All right, she's out. I don't know where she goes next then. Um, <laughs> well, I'm glad we came here. Um, all right, let's mark the guy. <laughs> the whole reason we were going here. Uh, no, not mark it right there. Yeah, that's that way. All right, let's head to him now. <laughs> that's cool. Right here he is. See what he has to buy. Don't want any trouble. Don't want any trouble. Purchase. Um, so he has rune arcs. He has a composite bow. Um, he has a shield that does not negate all damage. <laughs> um, this one actually looks pretty cool, though. Small metal round shield depicting a sinister rift. Huh. An antiquated charm that glares back at an enemy. It boosts focus. Oh, what's... What does focus do? All done? Well, be on. What does focus do? Nope, wrong. Nope, wrong. Thank you. 
Status? I don't see. Oh, their focus is a resistance. It's a resistance focus is. So, um, explanation of focus. Your resistance to sleep and bouts of madness, the higher the number, the lower the susceptibility, governed by your attributes, as well as defensive gear and additional effects. Okay. Huh. All right. Um, what else you did he have? I don't want any. I know, you don't want any trouble. I get it. All right, he has all those cured meats, a bewitching branch. Oh, yeah, and then my shield. Essentially, yeah, he doesn't have much. All done? Well, be on your way. Then. I am on my way. I am. I am going to be on my way. All right. So now that we have that, I think let's go here to the Eastern Table Land. Is that what it is? Eastern Table Land. And let's go down and explore this whole area up to the, uh, the, the two towers over there. So the two towers have been something that have been on my mind since we first seen them. The very first time they have been on my mind and uh yeah i think it's it's time that we go and check them out but first i want to experience what is over to the left here so i know we've seen that there's a giant down there well there was a giant there the last time we were here right where is it there was a giant in front of this place and now it's not there i wonder if it only comes at night um, okay, so before we go there, let's make it nighttime. Let's pass time tonight and see if the... I swear there was a giant in front of it. And it had a big old, like an axe or a hammer of sorts. This guy always gets a couple of hits on me no matter what. No matter what I do, he always gets at least a couple. All right, so, uh, yeah, let's sit down. We will pass time to night time, and uh, we'll see if... Did I pass the thing already? Oh, no, there it is. Boy, once you've unlocked them, they get a little harder to see, don't they? All right, so pass time till nightfall. And now let's look down there and see if that giant is there. You know, that just makes you say, like, holy cow. How much changes at night around... Oh, that looks so much cooler, too. Like, you almost have to explore everything at day and then everything at night on top of it. Yeah, no, I don't see it any at all anymore. There's no giant, no nothing here now. I will say it's a whole lot easier to spot items at night. Yeah, I don't see a giant at all. Wow, that almost, it makes me want to go back to that episode when we had first spotted this and see if uh, I indeed did, I swear I saw a giant just chilling over here. He was right directly in front of that building. I think there's a bear down here. Um, Can you not? Okay. That's cool. I think there's definitely a bear over here. Yep, there he is. Oh, he got me right away with it and got me again. Why don't you stun lock me? Come on. Something else is coming. I'm gonna say, are we ever gonna knock him down? What the heck is that? He got me there. Oh no, he did not. 
Okay, I think he just killed us. I think we're dead. Oh, he fell through the ground. Oh, I That's such a shame that that happened. That is such a shame that that happens. Oh, well. Nothing you can do. Um, what is this thing? There's another bear there, too. Every time they... If they get a hold of you, they end up... Uh... Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Attack. What is it doing? Make it rain! <laughs> Okay. All right, I can deal with that. Got it. All right, let's go wake this beast. Man, that's a shame that that one fell through the ground. That actually makes me legitimately sad. And always gets me. I'm not sure how I got hit there. I like got pushed out of its hitbox. Okay. gonna say eventually I gotta put him down oh I'm always in mid see I like ejects me out of the hitbox there Got two drinks back from that. They aren't the, the bears aren't too bad. They aren't too bad once you have enough health to take a couple of hits from them. Before that, they are uh, very intimidating creatures. Like I had said, I believe it was last episode that I had said it in. Um, I would love to go and check in in uh, go back to Mistwood and explore around in there. Oh, is that something? There is something up above me here. There's got to be a way up there. Hopefully you don't have to drop from above. No, no, you do not. So there's definitely something up here. What's up, bud? Stone sword key. Nice. Well, we had used one in the last dungeon that we visited. Um, it was the catacombs, the Black Knight catacombs. And uh, we had used one in there and we ended up getting one in there as well. Plus finding another one. So bonus. Um, let's go this way real quick just to make sure there ain't nothing here. No, no, we're good. All right, so let's go down and check that building now. Definitely want to check this building. Yeah, I swear I had seen a giant here. Yeah, there was a giant standing right dead center in front and it had like a, a big old axe in its hand i do believe like a huge axe and and ansel riverwell um you know what this reminds me of and that actually reminds me too we never went back and did that um it was something that i kept saying i wanted to do and we just never did um in right here Safria, Siafra, Siafra, Siafra Riverwell. We never did go back and, and explore that. So I guess we kind of missed some stuff back here in this area too. Oh, uh, I, all right. You know what? Before we take this, I don't know where, you know what? To heck with it. We're going to follow. We're going to, we're, we're doing it. We're going down it. The last one we didn't. And now we forgot about it. It, I don't know where the heck this is going to take us, but, uh, 
This is the coolest elevator I've ever seen in my... Oh, my God. This is the coolest... Uh, the coolest elevator I've ever seen in a video game. <laughs> Look at this place. Oh, there's a, uh, there's a thing right at the bottom of it, too. A little dark down here. Let's turn this on. What the heck are those on the ceiling? That looks like a whole new enemy that I don't want to have anything to do with. They looked absolutely terrifying. Uh, <laughs> look like beetles of some or some sort. Um, the summoning stone or summoning pool is now functional. Don't mind if I do. Lost Grace discovered. Let's sit down. And uh, why is it? It's like. Oh, there, look it. If you click down at the very bottom of the screen, it says click down on your right stick to show above ground. That was exactly okay. So you know what? That doesn't work the way I was thinking. I wanted to see if there was, so it still counts both of this side as being above ground. So you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that there is no top part of this plateau. There's only the cave underneath. Not sure. We'll eventually find out eventually something I'll always have in the back of my mind. Um, all right, so you know what? I think uh, this place is looking pretty crazy. There's giant ants or something on the wall. Um, I think we're going to save this for the next episode. So thank you guys so much for joining me for yet another episode of this amazing game, Elden Ring. As always, if you guys are liking the episodes, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know. And if you guys want to be notified when the next episode goes live, first, you got to be a sub to the channel. And then all you got to do is click that little sub button or that little bell notification icon. And uh, it will let you know every time a new episode goes live. Thank you guys so much. And as always, remember, life is short. Pause, save, and I will see you in the next episode.